that put me there that day at that time to help that baby. It's amazing how she was able to stay calm and she knew what to do and and she saved my baby's life. So I'm very thankful. When a couple realized their nine day old baby wasn't breathing, panic set in it's sitting in the car, nowhere near the hospital. That's when they noticed a Pleasant Hills police officer in the other lane. And Lisa took several minutes of chest compressions, but the officer saved little Olivia's life. Her father tells Channel 11's Michelle Newell he can't begin to thank her. That baby is here at Children's Hospital right now doing really good and it's all thanks to the officer that doctors say helped save her life. I just uh, thought I have to help this baby. There are times you can't help but wonder how you managed to be at the right place at the right time. That was the case for Pleasant Hills officer Kristen Matrician last Saturday. I just know that God put me there that day. The cop was in the other lane about two cars up. Before Joe Schleicher noticed officer yeah. matrician, he was on his way to Children's Hospital because his nine day old baby was fussy. On the way there, his wife noticed something was terribly wrong with baby Olivia. She said, she's not breathing, she's not breathing. I have to get her out of the car seat. And we were sitting in a red light at that point. I heard beeping next to me. I looked over, I saw a male driver waving to me. I put down the window. I said, my baby's not breathing. Officer Matrician told them to pull into this lot along Sawmill Run Boulevard. I took the baby out of the car and basically just put the life in, in the cop's hands. Put the baby on the tailgate of the truck, started doing chest compressions. A bystander jumped in to help. I asked him, can, sir, can you please get the AED out of my car? It's in the back seat. He said, yes, I'm a corrections officer. I'll help you. The machine analyzed baby Olivia. Obviously very scary to have your child on the back of a truck, you know, with AEDs on her and she started turning blue. Remove all clothing from patient's chest. Minutes later, it was the best crying I ever heard. Olivia is at Children's Hospital now. She has a heart condition and will need surgery. She saved my baby's life, so I'm very thankful. Words can't even can't even explain, you know, how I feel and, and how thankful I am. Officer Matrician is always helping others, but on this day, it really hit home. I'm a mother of two children, so I would hope someone could help me. If the officer would be willing to, to meet the baby and, and meet up with us afterwards after she comes out of the hospital and stuff, that's something we'd definitely be interested in. Michelle Newell, Channel 11 News. What a beautiful baby, and at least I bet the sound of that crying was a beautiful sound for everyone. Yeah, I was just getting chills watching that yeah. story. And if you think about it, about a dozen things have to, had to go right from the officer being right there in the next lane to have the officer having the AED. Yeah. We're so happy for that family. So happy their baby is yeah. okay. It all tonight. worked out. Yeah, it's all right, David.